Okay, everybody, welcome. I'm going to walk you through the last of the steps for posting our assignments to our WordPress blog. First thing I need you to do is make sure that you have access to our WordPress blog. So I'm going to, let's see, do, do, do. here's some of the users that we have already. I'm going to go back out to our blog and show you what it's like if you're not logged in. Log out. This is the address that you're looking for right here. Type it up so you can see it. WSU digital media dot wordpress dot com so go there first that's the first thing you do nice and easy and if you get there you can log in right down here okay so bottom area right here where it says meta there's one for login it'll ask you who you are there's my username and my password ready to go if you don't have one yet and I think one of the classes we went through this. You have a username; it's ready to go. If you need to remember what it is, send you know, ask me on Canvas, and I'll give you an answer. But for those of you that haven't been to this point yet, you're gonna to need to come down here to register. It's very simple. It's very quick. It takes you to the WordPress.com site, and we need to set up a quick username for yourself. But before you fill out all of these forms, come over and check up this button right here that says, "You don't want to blog; you just want to sign up for a username." And as soon as you click that, you only get a handful of choices now. So. Give it your email address. Pick a username that it likes. And tell it your password. Great. Then click sign up. It will send that email to you. Obviously, I'm not going to do this because I already have, and that's not my password. But that's going to send you an email. You need to get back into your email, verify access, and then send me this username in Canvas. Easy. Just grab that username, put it up on Canvas in a private message to me and just say, Drew, my username is night 30 or I like, you know, tricycles. And once I have that, I can add you to the blog. So I'm going to close out of that. So I don't need that part. You're going to go back to WSU Digital Media dot WordPress dot com and make sure that you can log in. You may have to wait for a second for me to, to uh, add you to the blog, but I'll be pretty quick about it today and for the weekend. So um, once you're able to log in with your username and your password, you'll be here, which is a first close step. So what we're going to be doing with our audio projects is we want to embed them or post them here on the blog. If you look under the assignment under Canvas, you'll see that you want to come and start a post and that each of your posts need to be connected. So I click posts and I can come up here to add new. Boom. I prefer that you, you give it a name that helps me recognize what project it is. So this is like Drew's Audio 1 and 2. I'm going to do one post for both of them. That's fine. Um, yeah, let me help me know who you are. So here I can fill out this form and or not form. I can put in some context and remember that's part of every one of our blog posts for our assignments. I want to make sure that you give me some sort of context to what's been going on. So you can say I recorded these sounds late at night in my office. It was dark and exciting. The sounds you'll hear, blah, 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 blah. Got it? So you write something for yourself. I want good, give me a good 50 to 100 words. I, I need some meat. Tell me about uh, what you recorded for the Nat Sounds. Set up the question that you recorded for your uh, Audio 2 information, the MOSs. Make those separate paragraphs. In fact, you can even separate them so that if you have, you have one, and then go write your second one for audio two and then give me some sort of setup for that got it okay now the key these don't have our videos embedded yet so to get them we're going to jump over to our YouTube account so join me now as I click over to YouTube I've already logged in but you would just want to log into YouTube YouTube will show you right off the top they'll show you some things about stuff that you've subscribed to stuff that you want to watch you know they're, they're trying to obviously get you to watch more things you're gonna come up here and click on your face and or the arrow, same thing, and get this selection here. Favorite place for me to go in 
in YouTube is a video manager. It's the easiest place to take care of all my videos and to know what's up, what's private, what's unlisted. So if you went through Final Cut Pro, chances are that your video is uh, private. Private means that if anybody wants to watch it, they have to have like an invite from you. They, your Their name has to be attached to that video <coughs> Excuse me, so they can watch it. Unlisted means they just have to know the link. So that's what's going to work best for our class. This is the signal for unlisted. This is the one for private. So check out audio two. It's private. Nobody else can watch that in class, but I want you to be able to watch that. So I'm going to come over and hit edit. I have my video. This looks very much like the ones that we did in class. And I need to change it to private. So I'm going to go to privacy settings. I'm sorry, change it from private to unlisted. And I'm going to hit save. Now that's unlisted, as long as I embed it somewhere, if I share the link on Facebook, those people can see it. But nobody's going to be able to search it up. Nobody's going to, uh, in my subscribers, nobody's going to get the, the invite to come watch it because it's now just unlisted. Next thing we're going to do is click on the URL that's right here. I'm going to do Command C because that's easy, but there's 10 other ways to do it. You can right click, copy, or you can go clear up into the menu that you can't see that says edit, copy. Tons of ways to get that link. We're going to take that link back to our post. Easy, so I guess YouTube, set it unlisted, grab the link, back to our post, and this is audio too, so I'm going to put it down here, and again, three ways to paste it, right click, paste, or command V, paste, or edit, paste, right, I just pasted the same video three times, you don't need to do that, I'm just showing you, you have options, that's it, as long as that link shows up on its own line, right, I don't have any gibberish before it or after it, it helps to keep it clean, then it will embed just fine. And let's say for the sake of practice, I'm going to go back and pick another video that I have for, oh, I did have one for audio one. So again, I'm going to go to audio one, edit, change this to unlisted, grab that with a command C, I'm going to copy that, save it off, and back to my blog up here in this tab, paste. Now I have two YouTube links right in the middle of my content. I talked about mine here, talked about one here, and last step is me to say right here, publish. Ta-da! There's a post with audio one. There's a little post with audio two. Yours should be bigger than this. That's it. That's all she wrote. If your stuff is on the blog like that, I'll go to the front page so you can see. If your stuff is on the blog, you're good to go. But remember what I said in class, and some of you will remember this. I'm going to go back. I'm just swiping back for myself to get back into this part. Oh, come on. There it is. I prefer that we use that more that more feature. So if you remember, I showed you this button right here. Insert more tag. I'm going to insert that and publish again. If you remember, I did that because if we're all posting the same blog, I think we'd all rather see, there we go for the front page, a truncated version rather than having everybody. If 25 people are posting two videos and posts, you're going to be scrolling for hours to see things. So give us a teaser, hit continue reading. I will grade them all, so I will see them all. But you want to encourage your uh, colleagues in the class to watch it as well. So give us a little teaser. They can hit continue reading, get in, and they'll be able to see my links. Uh -huh -huh. What did you notice about that? It turned my links back into links. I'm going to edit this and show you why. There's an edit link here, by the way, if you're already logged in. Other ways to just hit the back button. Do you remember what I said about it being on same, the same line? Some reason when I use my back arrow to get in here, it created two lines for me. So if I split these back out to their own separate lines and hit update, it'll fix it for me. I'm going to view that post just to show you that it'll fix it. Okay. Being on their own line helps. Did I miss anything? Was that pretty easy? Nice and simple. To run it down, you're going to make sure that you have access to this blog through WordPress. If you don't, you're going to send me your username. Once I give you access with that username, then you'll be able to post these things inside of WordPress. WordPress is simple. WordPress is pretty easy. I'll go back to that dashboard to show you. Main thing that we'll be doing here in this dashboard is going to posts, add new. That's really the main thing that you guys need to worry about. Every assignment, you'll give it a title and some context, and then the link. Where the link comes from, your YouTube channel. Jump over, grab it, make sure it's unlisted. I, links that are private won't show up. They'll just be like static, and they'll say, this viewer has it set to private. 
So uh, if I run into that, I will let you know. There you go, boom, unlisted. Take that link back in, paste it down, paste it down. That's gonna be your embed. Pretty simple, that's how we finish this one up. Thank you for watching. Um, hopefully you learn lots this weekend because I've got lots to say. Thanks guys.